Yeah, hi guys. It has been a while. I really dropped a practical demonstration like this. You know, I have a lot of people asking me this question. What is float charge? What is absorb charge? I don't really have time to respond to them. So I decided to do this video, a practical demonstration, to show you what float charge and absorb charge means when it comes to solar energy system. But don't forget, float and absorb are English terms. And I'll be explaining that, or I'll just give brief explanation or brief definition of these two terms before I'll, you know, relate them to uh, the solar energy system. Float in English means when a particle moves on the surface of water. That is what float means, right? Then absorb. Absorb means you are sucking something out of something, right? That is what absorb means. But what does these terms stand for, or what does this term means in solar energy system, right? So this glass of water will be representing our battery bank. Why this jug of water will be representing our power from the solar energy or from the solar panels. I've already filled this cup. Normally your battery is always at 15% when you drain it overnight or 20%, but I filled it up just for this demonstration. So assuming our battery is filled already, I'll be, I'll be demonstrating first with uh, the flow chart what float means. So this is a glass of water which represents our battery bank and this battery bank is filled to the brim that means our battery is at 100 percent so what happens at flow charge you know i said flow charge in english means particle or something is flowing or is moving on the surface of water when it comes to solar energy system this is what it means your your uh, your battery bank is filled up right there is difference between float and absorb. So I'll be showing you what float means now, right? Let's assume this straw is our energy consumption and will be consuming from this battery. So this is what happens when your battery reaches float charge. Anything you'll be consuming, right? Since this one will still be coming in, be observing what I'm doing. This will be coming in while you will still be uh, consuming from, you know, the power that is already filled. That means. There are possibility that when your battery reaches flow charge, your battery can drop to 95% and jump back to 100%. That is how it happens when it comes to flow charge. So you now like as you are consuming the solar power or power from PV will still be coming in. So you are consuming from the surface of this that is what flow charge means that is the practical this is the practical demonstration of flow charge you are consuming from here why this one is coming in it now looks like absorb but they are different things entirely so this demonstration is for flow charge remember you are consuming from from the top but when sun goes down and your panels are not enough your solar power is not enough. You will now consume deep into the battery. The water will drop, right? The battery bank dropped to 95%. Then when sun comes back up, this guy will now fill it up again to 100%. This is what happens in float charge. Then see what happens in absorb charge. When you have enough panels, this is what happens. Instead of you to be consuming from the top of your battery, when you, that your battery now drops to 95%, then maybe 98%, then come back to 100%. When it's in absorb, this is what happens. Your load now comes here, all right? Your load now comes here. It will no longer consume from this. It will now be consuming directly from the power of the PV, right? So this, your uh, battery bank is already filled up. But in order to keep this at 100% till night, let's say till 4 or 5 p.m. when the sun is no longer strong, you will not be consuming directly from your solar panels, but this will still be happening. So I don't know how far I can demonstrate this for you, but this is what will happen. So your appliances or your power consumption will not be directly from the solar PV. Why? 0.0 something will be dropping to your battery to keep your battery at 100%. So, as long as you don't consume more than what your solar PV is generating, you keep consuming from the solar PV while your battery bank, uh, your battery bank remains at 100% down to 5 p.m. 
Once it is 5 p.m., uh, you know, by that time, the sun is no longer strong. You now start consuming a little from your battery bank because what you are consuming by that time may be greater than what your PV is generating. So this is the practical demonstration whenever I talk about float, whenever I talk about absorb. Remember absorb, uh, you will be consuming directly from the PV. Why a little power from the PV will still be coming to the battery bank to keep the battery at 100%. Then float charge. Sorry, my straw fell inside. Let me remove my straw, <laughs> which represents uh, the power consumption. So, for those of you that didn't get it at first, this is float charge. Your battery is filled at 100%. You will now consume a little. Your PV will now fill it back. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't cover it well. So, you consume a little from your battery. Your PV fills it back in 10 minutes, 5 minutes, it fills it back, right? This is float. Then when it comes to absorb, your load will not be consuming from the PV directly. That is absorb. So you are not consuming from here, but little power is still coming to your battery to keep your battery on 100%. On absorb, it will fluctuate. When the sun goes down, it will come back to like, you know, you start consuming from, okay, let's assume this is at peak, your battery is on 100% and you are consuming, <coughs> you are consuming the excess coming from the PV. Once your sun, once the, once the sun drops, uh, you now start consuming from the battery. This is how it works. Then when the sun comes back up, since the energy now coming from the solar panel is greater than your load, it will now fill the battery back. All right then absorb remember in float i'm putting my straw in the cup when it comes to absorb this is where i put my straw right a little power will be dropping to the battery and i'll not be consuming directly from uh the panels this is the difference between flow charge and absorb charge i don't know if i've explained it better but don't forget to share this video don't forget to like this video i'll keep on dropping premium content for you guys don't forget i'm your surest solar plug the solar board.